Today we are going from canal to canal, looking inside all the tunnels to see if we can find some cool aquarium fish. Every year, millions and billions of fish swim and migrate down the coast of Florida, and it is called the giant mullet migration, the giant mullet run. Now this draws tons of action, tons of fish, all around the Florida beaches, in the inlets, in the canals, everywhere, there is just fish all over the place. Giant tarpon, giant snook, black tip sharks, feasting on these guys one by one all along the beaches. Now this has just started here and I've already seen mullet all around my canal. And we're thinking if we go find the mullet, maybe we can go find some cool fish swimming around them. And that is what we're gonna do today. So let's jump right into it and get to that fish guy action. Guys, these mullet that we've been searching for tirelessly are finally right here. And these puppies are big. I'm talking big horse mullet that these fish are gonna destroy. Talk to me, Jack. We had to have gotten them. Talk to me, Jack. We Come had on. to have gotten them. Move yes, in. yes, we got them. We got them. We got them. We got them. We need a bucket. Let's go. Oh my God. Decent you want to talk about bait fish, ladies and gents? You want to talk about bait fish? That's how you do it. Now guys, these mullet are perfect size for the saltwater pond. They'll add a great schooling element to the pond. We're hopefully going to get more of these guys. Plus they're great food for the groupers and all the fish we have in there. The eels, everything absolutely loves these guys. So really, ideally we want to get about 20 more. We're going to really try to get as many as we can, but this is a good first net right by the tunnel as well. All the fish hang out by the tunnel. It's crazy. Literally every canal has a tunnel crossing in between them. They all hang out right by it. So perfect get, perfect first cast. Let's go. You cannot ask for a better size mullet. If you're going fishing for a big fish, or if you gotta feed some big fish, you cannot ask for a much better bait, baby. Let's do it, let's get these guys in the bucket. They're gonna jump, watch this. Watch, watch, them, watch them take flight, ready? Yep. Whoa, see ya. Putting them in the pond is actually gonna be really cool. They swim around like crazy. They'll give a nice little flow of fish in the pond. Take a look at our first batch of mullet here. They're probably gonna go fine, but oh, there we go. Take a look, a lot smaller than the other one. This is a finger mullet, literally, the best bait. Literally, you can feed these to anything. Everything eats them. And this time of the year, we get so many of these guys coming down our coast by literally not even the millions, probably by the billions. And the big tarpon up to 200 pounds devour these things. They go through the whole school woo, and get as many, probably up to 20 of them in just one gulp. These things, oh, this, this right here makes a fish guy happy. I can tell you that. So no mole at that time, but we got some sand perch. I mean, literally everything goes towards the tunnel. I don't know why. And there's a little bit of current that comes out of it. That could possibly be the reason, but the mullet eluded us. They're extremely quick, but these guys aren't as fast. And the fish absolutely love these little sand perch. I mean, we're catching bait for days. I might've found my new bait spot. Just hit the tunnels for God's sake. Oh my God, I see him, I see him. He's a freaking banana. How am I supposed to oh my God, that is the coolest fish ever. How am I supposed to catch him? That is the coolest fish ever. Chris, you're literally gonna have to scoop them. Guys, look at him right there. The camera literally can't even focus on him. That's how freaking bright he is. Oh. Let's go! Aquaman got him! Guys, that is so cool! Aquaman got him! Let's go! That's why they call you Aquaman! That's why they call me Aquaman. I might, be, I might not be big and ripped, but I'll tell you what, I got something with the fish. Guys, I've seen these on Instagram and stuff. Bright yellow banana triple tail. Look at that! That is Some so of the cool. best eating fish right here, no joke. Obviously this guy's what, maybe eight inches? They gotta be, I think 18 inches to keep. So they get sadly, much bigger. Yeah, they get, they get these, the world record or the state record is like 40 pounds. And this guy is probably like two ounces, but take a look at them. They're not always yellow like this. Typically they're brown, but you see them floating with the seaweed a lot, blending right in and they're just snacking on all the little stuff inside there, like the shrimp, like the crabs, all that stuff. Very dumb fish. Very dumb. You I just scooped them up. You, you have no idea how many times I've actually done that. And I've caught some big ones. That's a cool fish, dude. Every time we, we don't see these a lot, but every time we do, it's a treat. But you gotta be really careful. You see that right there? See those spines coming off? That's a gill plate, extremely sharp, like a razor blade. Look at the face on them though. These things, oh, they're, they're one of the coolest fish in the ocean. I've eaten them before. And let me tell so you what, sick, dude. they taste absolutely. I've literally seen the yellow ones on Instagram. Like people get so many views on those that on Instagram. So cool. Such a rare, like really cool fish. Golden it's a golden nugget. nugget. Let's put them home. Bye. Goodbye. Look at him, there he goes down the so wall. Sick, dude. Such a cool fish, bro. They get so big. I've never seen one of those here. Look so at, look cool, look how dude. Right, he is. That is a golden, literally a golden nugget. Thick. Right at my dock. We've seen some nuts things so far. We've seen giant puffer fish here, golden triple tail. Such a cool find. Now we're gonna get on the boat and drive around all these docks, see if we can find some more rare stuff. That is absolutely. He's like literally albino. That's crazy. Yeah, Jack. 
Oh my oh, god. Oh, it's a freaking it's a snake. It's a snake. A snake? No, it's a, it's a not cuda, a, but he's tiny. Not an actual oh. snake. It's just a super small cuda. That is like 15 inches to the max. Dude, that is 15 inches to the max. Now guys, these things have to be 15 inches in order to keep. Any smaller and it's not allowed. So 15 inches, we're gonna measure him. If he's under 15, which I don't think he is, can't keep him, we'll put him back. I think that might be an absolute stud for the pond. Like that might be perfect. All day long. Here we go, we got the measuring tape. Is that the perfect cuda? Guys, it's 17, 18, 17. Perfect. That is almost the too perfect, guys. Look at that. Look at the, you wanna talk about a fierce predator for the saltwater pond right there? You ain't getting anything more fierce than that. Look at those you teeth. You might have to try it, guys. Let's put him back. He's a torpedo, I like him, I think we should keep him. Guys, I think that cuda, I don't think he gets more perfect than that cuda. I think we're gonna keep him in the pond. We're gonna see how he looks in there. Drop a like on this video if you guys think we should definitely keep him. Like, if you guys want us to keep him in the pond, let us know by dropping a like on it. Just like the last cuda we caught, he was not being friendly to the other fish. So hopefully this guy's much more chill. He seems like a much more chill fish. Let's get him in the pond and see how he looks in there. That is an epic catch, almost too perfect of a cuda. 17 inches? You cannot, you can't ask for better than that. Guys, check out the brand new fish guy gray hat. The last ones, the tan ones absolutely flew. So we went ahead and restocked those and dropped the new color, the gray one. They've been up on the site for probably a week now. And let me tell you what, they're flying. We can hardly keep up with the orders. They're going so freaking fast. Probably one of my favorites other than the fish guy save our seas hat. That one I think goes down in the history book. Best hat the fish guys have ever made. Those ones are, are gonna go so quick. Those actually sold out in like, when we first got oh, them, yeah. those and sold out like a week. And when we had them in blue, they were gone. If you wanna get your hat, you wanna make sure you get one. You better go to the site right now, get yourself a hat. Let's get this Cuda acclimating and then into the saltwater pond. I'm actually stoked about this because it's our first real Cuda going in there. Nice 17 incher, chef's kiss. Pots is about to have a field day and we got a little surprise for you guys in the warehouse. It's gonna look so good. Let's go do it. Are you guys ready for an epic live feeding? We got a live frisky yeah, mullet in there. We one alive, yeah. We're just bringing these guys in, but if you guys notice, the surprise in the warehouse is brand new lighting in here. We're testing it out for the first time. Brand new lighting, two giant spotlights that just illuminate the whole pond so you guys can enjoy the footage even more. It's all about you guys and you guys watching through the camera. We want it to be the best experience possible. So best lighting, best fish. We got a live silver mullet right there going inside to face pots. Let's see how long this takes. Here we go. Guys, the mullet's gonna start jumping. That's why mullet are so, such good baits because if you watch them, he just swims across the top of the water <coughs> frantically. Pots is fired up now, guys. Here we go. Let's add another one in here. Here we go. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh! oh! Almost lit up. Almost oh. smoked. Dude, this lighting is fire. Look how yellow he is. He's so yellow. He's just stalking these mullet. It's cool to see it because like, when I'm on top of a bridge fishing, this is what the fish do to your bait. They chase and chase and chase. And once they finally see their opportunity, womp. Pots. Oh! We swam into the death hole. It literally we swam straight down and straight into Pots' face. Pants is fired up. Pants is fired up. Oh, Pants. I haven't seen Pants eat live ever. Guys, they like mullet. They love mullet. Guys. They like eating mullet. Here live you. dog. Oh, crap. Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh! 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 Whole goggle eye. That big. Down the gully. I think he learned from pots how to how to just execute fish. Just execute, just don't think about it, just swallow them, and that's it. When he eats, especially something live, you could feel it in the whole garage. Like you feel it in the floor, oh, boom! It's like a vibration that gets sent out. He is one mean big boy right there. Guys, here is the Emperor Snapper. We're gonna give him a nice big mullet, and he smoked it, absolutely smoked. That mullet is literally as long as his whole body probably and actually just crushed it what a savage oh, oh my god so epic so oh my god an explosion an explosion so now that we fed these guys now i feel comfortable adding the barracuda he is 17 inches but i wouldn't doubt pots just going after him and smoking him so i'm glad they're nice and full and we can add our new fish here. Do we need some epic names down in the comments? This is our first kudo that we're actually gonna try to keep in here. Drop your comments down below of what you think his name should be. It's gotta be a good one. Guys, look at our barracuda. Fierce predator. Nowhere near the size of the one we caught on the beach that one time, but this guy is gonna grow to be that big. Let's get him in. 
Now this is a predator for our saltwater pond. Let's go. Uh, hopefully he does well in here. Let's go. We need some nice names for him. Oh my God, pants might smoke him right here. Guys. No. Oh my God. Oh my God. Pans ate him. What's his problem? Guys, Pans just ate the CUDA. After all those mullet, he ate two. After all those mullet, he swallowed the whole CUDA whole. It was literally as long, it, it, was, it was as big as his stomach for sure. I honestly was straight up speechless when I saw it happen. I couldn't believe my eyes. He never eats live. Now he's a full on live eater. Now we know. Nothing under 17 inches can we put in this pond. That's why we decided to put the cuda in there because he doesn't eat live. He never eats live. And here he goes with his giant nuts and smoked this cuda and it didn't mean anything to him. Wow. I am super surprised. Wow. Well, there goes our cuda. Now we're going to have to catch not a 15, not a 17, maybe a 20 inch to put in here. Wow. That was, uh, I cannot believe that. that was quite shocking. Guys, that's gonna do it. I cannot believe what just happened. Absolutely crazy. Just a swallowed 17 inch meal. You guys saw it on the tape, 17 inches on the ruler and pots or pans just absolutely smoked it. Okay, that goes to show you what kind of fish we're dealing with here. But everybody, that's gonna do it. Don't forget to head over to fishguide.shop, get yourself something nice. The hats are going quick and every item sold on the site removes trash from the ocean. We'll catch you all on that next one, later.